السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وبعد um, We're continuing with our tafsir of uh, Surah Al-Mulk جزاكم الله عنا خير uh, We've reached ayah number 10 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has begun letting us know what the people who have entered into Jahannam begin to say and to debate with the angels. And the angels will ask them, whenever they enter Jahannam, Alam yatikum nadir, did not a warner, a messenger, someone come and warn you about your place? Qalu bala qad ja'ana nadirum fakadhabna wa qulna ma nazal Allahu min shay. They will say, yes, there did come to us someone who warned us about this predicament that we're now in in Jahannam. فَكَذَّبْنَا We lied, we, we gave them no chance, we would not accept anything. وَقُلْنَا مَا نَزَلَ اللَّهِ And we denied any possibility that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent anyone to lead us to the truth, even though inside ourselves we recognize it was truth. In أَنْتُمِ اللَّهِ فِي ضَلَالٍ كَبِيرٍ The indictment of course, you are in a severe uh, uh, mode of misguidance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. The ayah that we study today, وَقَالُوا now, those who are in Jahannam will rationalize why they are there and what could have saved them. And there's two things that lead you to a recognition of Allah. وَقَالُوا They will say, لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ مَا كُنَّا فِي أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ They will say, had we simply listened, نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ Or given particular thought. Attention, deliberation, not just hearing, but also considered it, thought about it, we would never have found ourselves in this place in Jahannam. Now, these two things are very, very important. These two things, listening to the truth and just following it, even if you don't understand it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran that the Sahaba at the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam They said we hear and we obey and that is salvation Even Harun alayhi salam when Musa had left them and went up into the mountain to speak with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring the Ten Commandments down to them Bani Israel began to worship the golden calf Harun says to them Ya qawmi tabi'uni wa ati'u amri Oh my people, just follow what I'm doing. You don't have to understand it. Just listen to what I'm saying and do it. This constitution is a very important thing for a believer. Sami'na, sami'na. We hear, we hear the word of Allah. Whenever you are confronted by an authentic hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, whenever a verse of the Quran is explained to you in an appropriate context and way, do not ever let your heart be a barrier between you and following it. Don't let your desires or whatever it is that you're normally doing in life lead you away from saying, سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا We hear and obey. So that's the first thing. قَالُوا لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ If we just listened. أَوْ نَعْقِلُ Or... Even if we didn't listen, had we not heard anything, had no messenger come to us, had we actually used our aql, and Islam is a deen of aql, Islam is not a deen, a way of life that wants you not to use your rationale. Everything in Islam has a place and has a purpose. Uh, we believe that hikmah is to put things in its right place. We believe that dhulm is to put things in their wrong place. The first words given to the Prophet ﷺ is iqra. Islam is a very intellectual, uh, intending to be a very intellectual process uh, of faith and practice. We do not have anything simply just blind faith. No, we believe in things, but we don't want to be blind upon it. We want to have basira. ادعو إلى سبيل ربك بالحكمة والموعظة تل حسنة وجادلهم بالتي أحسن. We debate people, we discuss, we theorize and we postulate, but we always come back to a grounding of knowledge. Islam. فَعَلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ O Muhammad, let your deen begin with the knowledge that none is worthy of worship but God. So knowledge is the foundation of all faith and from knowledge grows certainty. لَأَوْ نَعْقِلُ Had we thought, had we looked up into the heavens, as Allah just told them in the beginning of the surah, we studied three a few days ago, look up into the sky once and twice. Had we thought about the gravity of that? Had we thought that these stars did not just put themselves where they are, that they didn't just come out of nothing? We would not be where we are today. لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ مَا كُنَّا فِي أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ
we would not have arrived to this destination. And therefore, your intellect is not something that you should suspend. It is something that you should uh, uh, hold on to. It is something that you should utilize and use and, and function with in a path that leads you to Allah. And therefore, Allah tells us in the Quran, اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم Read in the name of your Lord. So use what Allah has given you to improve your place, not just in an uh, outward knowledge, but in a knowledge that relates to faith. And therefore, the two things that will protect myself and you from the punishment of the Jahannam on the Day of Judgment is that we listened and obeyed, and when we understood something, we followed. Don't let your heart ever contradict what your soul invites you to when it is something that leads you towards Allah. You must hold back your hawa when it leads you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I leave you with one uh, final hadith from the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where he says to us, every human being has a, 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 an inclination. And the inclination of a believer is to accept the truth in that sense. You have an inclination, we have a fitrah, we have a shir'a, we have something in us that wants us to come to that which is true. So follow that towards Allah. The Prophet ﷺ says, a believer will always have the desire to hear and do what is good. So continue to hear and do what is good until you meet your Lord. May Allah keep us in that condition until the day of judgment. Uh, Allahumma ameen. And I hope you will join me again tomorrow where we continue with verse number 11. So now we're one third of the way through Surah Al-Mulk. I pray that it brings some benefit and light into our lives. I encourage you to begin learning it and memorizing it so that you can read it every night as is recommended to us by the Prophet Sallallahu so that we will be saved from the punishment of Jahannam and from the punishment of the grave. Wa sallillahumma wa sallim wa zid wa barik ala Sayyidina wa Nabiyina Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.